I had half of a grilled cheese sandwich on Desi, can you look at me? Desi, I had half of a grilled cheese sandwich on the coffee table and now it's gone. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Would you? You, you, you didn't eat my sandwich, did you, Des? You wouldn't do that, would you? No. What do you think happened to it? I was just doing some work for the census. I, I just, I thought I'd ask you a few questions. I don't know. Um, so how many in your household? Uh, uh, do you shop at Walmart? Bye. Okay. Guess not. Bye. to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope your week was okay. I, I hope you had a good one. And you know, I thought I would just keep it a little light this week and do something that we have always loved. And that's going through some monthly favorites. And I had some good ones for April. And you know, with Mother's Day coming up, I think we're always thinking of maybe some gift ideas. And, you know, we have that special woman in our life, our, our mom or our aunt, uh, a special sister, uh, or, you know, maybe just that, that neighbor that has been so kind to us or we want to show kindness to. So having some gift ideas, that's pretty cool. So I think, I, I think some of my favorites would actually make wonderful gifts. So I'm kind of excited to do this video for you. I got some new jewelry by Anna Lucia that I want to show you. Some gold necklaces and I have a coupon code for you. Uh, I also found a, a new foundation I love and I found it from a channel that I watch and I want to shout her out. And what else? Oh, I have some fantastic shoes by Clarks that are so comfy to walk in and I know we're all doing a lot of walking right now and I found something well anyway I just found s such cool things and they just happen to make cool gifts every day I use my new face and I use it for five or ten minutes and I think it it helps for my face at least that's what I'm telling myself anyway I can't really afford the gel that the company sells so I have been using the Neutrogena uh, Hydro Boost and I love this this is a this is this is great uh, to, to use with your new face it's a lot more hydrating it doesn't dry out on your skin as fast as like the aloe vera gel and it, this doesn't hurt my eyes and then after five or ten minutes after using my new face this just has such a nice cooling sensation so yeah the hydro boost it, it's nice I, I really like it so it's a favorite all right I found a new foundation that I fell in love with and I know what you're thinking oh dear dear not another foundation I know but this one is so good this is boots number seven all-in-one foundation and it comes in a tube a SPF of 50 and you know I love 
the finish of it. I love it matches my skin tones so well in the shade that I'm in and also the coverage. The coverage is just crazy good. You know, one pass of this makeup is like I built my makeup up two or three times. So I love this for being on camera, but I love it for every day because of the SPF and it lasts a long time. And you know, one of the reasons I, I tried this is I was seeing a uh, uh, Trish, she has a, a channel and I will link it below and her channel is named um, Beauty by Trish and Trish if you have never seen her she is amazing she has some mad makeup skills you know you see her before and after and her get ready uh, with me it, it is it's just amazing she blows me away every single time but she loved this foundation and it looks so good on her so I had to try it and yeah so she looks so great. Trish does a great red lip and then she has those big blue eyes that just pop. I love her channel so if you get a chance um, you might want to try out this makeup and uh, <laughs> check out her channel. It says that it has some of the skin care benefits. You know, I think I did my share of crying in March and April, you know, just like everybody else. And, you know, my eyes were, were just, you know, very red and puffy. And I saw this on QVC. This is the Dr. Brandt uh, Baggage No More. Uh, so they were selling um, two tubes for the price of one. And I had never tried this before. And... I thought it was very interesting. I have never ever tried any one of these kind of gimmicky products to help, you know, with your under eye swelling. But this one came with such good reviews and I love it that they tell you to, you know, cleanse your face and do all your skincare, put your moisturizer on, and then over the moisturizer put the, uh, the Dr. Brandt uh, cream on. And then it just slowly dries underneath your eyes and it helps bring that swelling down. And I have found that to be the case. And it's not, you know, it isn't like you have to worry about, I can't put makeup over it or I can't do this or that. It's all it is, is just like an eye cream on steroids. And I notice it, it seems to flatten me out right here. I don't think it does too much, you know, closer to the inner area of my eye, but I, I do see improvement. Now they say the more you use, the more you use this, the better it gets. And I don't see how that would be possible, but I will, I will update you on this, but this is the Dr. Brandt baggage. No more. Is that it? Oh, no more baggage. I'm dyslexic. I never get it right. <laughs> But yeah, I like it. I, I do. I like it. Ever since I was a kid, I have always taken signs as life lessons. I don't know. Every time I see a stop sign, I think it was just made for me. You know what I think would make a wonderful gift right now, since we're all walking, is a pair of beautiful, comfortable shoes. So if you have a special lady in your life and you want to give her a gift, I found the most comfortable beautiful shoes and these are Clark's these are cloud steppers and I suppose they named them that because it feels like you're walking on clouds but I don't I don't know about that maybe you're walking on marshmallows <laughs> but anyway look at these these shoes are so cool they come in black and red and and navy and when I walk on them they not only lift me up which makes me look a little bit thinner um, but they I swear when I'm walking in them, it's like they're aligning my back. So these have been wonderful. So I have pretty wide feet. I'm an eight wide. So what I love about Clark's is you can get them in any type of, you know, size and, and, and a wide. So it makes them even more comfortable for me to wear. But, you know, when I'm finally, you know, out of my um, house uh, uh, quarantine, I'm going to show up 
everything red for like a whole month, red, white, and blue. <laughs> so I can't wait to get these in red. So I had to show them to you. These are absolutely my favorites for April. I see you're kind of a downtown duck. I, I thought you might be a little bit more friendly. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Um, hello. I guess not. Okay. You know, I don't know how many of you watch The Daily Connoisseur, but I just love her. I love her channel. And she has partnered for a long time with the jewelry company, uh, Ana Lucia. And that's when I, I totally fell in love with that jewelry. And so I did order a necklace for my daughter-in-law. This is called Pluto. Uh, this is a, a gold necklace that uh, that I just fell in love with that fits my daughter-in-law's personality so well. But uh, I did buy a couple more pieces and I myself did end up partnering uh, with the company. So in the future, I'm, I'm gonna be able to do a video for them for Christmas. So I'm really excited about that. necklaces that are handcrafted. They're 14 karat gold. They are hypoallergenic, uh, so I sound like a commercial, don't I? <laughs> but the reason that I love them so much is, you know, in you, you purchase the set. That means you get three necklaces. In, in some cases you get two, but you know, you have your choice. No two sets are alike. They're handcrafted. second set that I have and this is the Cardia and this is two necklaces and it's a very substantial like horseshoe longer necklace with a more dainty one and I just fell in love with it. You know I always think of horseshoes as you know something to, to bring me luck. These beautiful earrings are called the Ale Andrea and I think they are just so pretty. I have my eye on this beautiful white and navy summer dress and I thought these earrings would just be so perfect. So yeah, I think these are the nicest earrings I own. You know, it's not often in life that your world just turns upside down like ours has. And I think so many of us on this platform, you know, we're just flying blind. We don't know what to do. You know, do we want to, you know, try to entertain you, make you laugh? Do, do, do you want to hear about how we feel? Do you want us to get real? I mean, we're struggling, you know, a lot of us are struggling because we love you so much and, and we don't know what to do to make it better. And I was talking to my uh, friend last night who's a creator on YouTube and her views have just fallen right off a cliff. And she said, I quit. I'm, I'm not, I, I can't do this anymore. I love it, but I, you know, if nobody's watching, I'm just gonna quit. And I told her this quick story about <laughs> in the 80s when I was a young girl, I got a great gig playing piano, uh, you know, playing my songs and playing the piano at the Ramada Inn and the Holiday Inns and I was on a circuit. I was making pretty good money and great tips and I, I play in Michigan and Chicago and anyway, it was a great gig. I loved it. And one night, I just clicked. I was at the Ramada. I think I was in Detroit and I just clicked that night. and. I just had such a, a bond with my audience. I remember I was playing Fire and Rain by James Taylor and I just thought, oh boy, this is so cool. And I got called into the office at the Ramada and I thought, oh yeah, oh boy, they're going to give me a raise. No, they didn't give me a raise. They fired me. 
and they fired me because they told me the man that played there the week before me, uh, he didn't play piano as well as I did, but he, he told jokes. He told really funny jokes between, between his songs. And the crowd loved him, and he was a really good entertainer, and, and I wasn't because I didn't tell jokes. I cried so hard, I had a hard time driving myself home that night. I got home and I looked at my piano and I thought, why? I am never going to touch you again. You have just made me so miserable. I've spent my whole life writing music and playing with bands and being away from home and I'm so poor. What do I have to show for it? Well, a few hours later, <laughs> I was feeling so bad that, yeah, I just moseyed on over to the piano and I wrote one of the best songs I've ever written in my life called Home. And I think that experience taught me if something is your salvation, if something soothes your soul, if something pleases you like nothing else, then do it, no matter whether you have an audience or not, because you don't need anybody's validation other than your own. That's all you need. So I told my friend, do you love making videos? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, then do it. Upload every day. You get four views, who cares? There's so much freedom in that. And it soothes your soul. Everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. And uh, if you uh, order the Anna Lucia jewelry, there is a discount coupon below. So I don't want you to forget that you can get money off that. So please have yourself a safe and, and calm new week. And, and when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here. Hey, buddy, where are you going? You want to talk? You want to grab lunch? I don't know. You want a date? <laughs>